Coming up, that new car smell, a mountain in Austin, and more bald eagles than you can shake your talons at. I have coffee. Let's talk about this week in my life. It's not quite spring in Austin, but the trees think it is. <gasps> I'm Steven Torrance, and I'm coming at you from Austin, Texas. This is my office, the office of Number 4 St. James, where I work. Here's a book that we made about Texas products. That's kind of cool. Number one. Nah. This. This thing. This. This. This year, one of my resolutions is to vlog weekly. So this is the first week of that thing. I'll bring you about five things every week in sort of a roundup, cool stuff that happened in my life, cool things I found on the internet, stuff, you know, stuff. And I promise to be caffeinated every single time. Number two. So we have one mountain in Austin. It's called Mount Bunnell, and it is gorgeous, and probably wouldn't qualify as a mountain anywhere other than Texas, but it's our mountain, and so we love it. So this weekend, it was in the 60s in January, because Texas. So I decided to take my Fairdale Weekender out on a long ride all the way up to our singular mountain. I took this snazzy panorama, full version in the show notes. If you ever visit the city, make that one of the things on your list. Absolute best views of downtown, of the hill country, and uh, pretty good hiking too. It's, uh, you know, it's got some rocks and some trees and some pathways and stuff. Mount Bunnell, check it out. Number three point one four one five nine two. I bought a Raspberry Pi. I mean, I, I plan to actually do interesting things with it. Uh, the first thing my roommates and I came up with is like a security camera that you text and it sends you the latest photo of whatever's outside of our house, among other things. It's 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 geeky. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I need more coffee. Um, number four. So about three years ago, I sold my car, and I have not owned a vehicle for that entire time. I do a combination of a few things. I ride a bicycle, uh, my Fairdale Weekender. I use public transportation, which is okay in Austin, could be better. Uh, and I drive the car to goes around town. So I had a fun little moment this week. Uh, most of the fleet is about two years old or so. So I'm you know, used to buttons that don't work as well and suspension that isn't quite as absorbent. But this past week I badged into a vehicle, got inside and it had that new car smell. And that was kind of neat, because, you know, I haven't bought a car in a while, and I don't get to experience that new car smell thing. So, thanks, Cardio, for upgrading your fleet and giving me a pleasant surprise this week. Well, last but not least, eagles. So a friend of mine and I had a conversation the other night. Uh, she is from Dutch Harbor, which you might know from Deadliest Catch. Apparently, in Dutch Harbor, Bald eagles are as common as seagulls or buzzards and do pretty much the same things. So eagles will tear apart fish that are around or spend a lot of time at landfills picking apart dead things that could possibly be edible. And they will also apparently hold your groceries hostage by like sitting on your vehicle until the police come and chew them away non-violently because you can't do anything to bald eagles because they're endangered apparently even though there are a bunch of them. There's probably a political allegory somewhere in there but I just thought it was interesting. Bald eagles, really common apparently in some places. All right, that's it for this week. I'll see you next Sunday. A transcript and some links from today's show are in the show notes below. You can follow me on uh, Google+, on Twitter, on Facebook, a uh, bunch of other internet things. And this broom is awesome. You should subscribe. I'm Steven Torrance. I love you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.